What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome to Let's Play Lollipop Chainsaw Blind. This is a wacky, zany, horror-themed game, which is right up my alley and something I've been wanting to play for a very long time. I've seen a few minutes of gameplay to confirm that it's something I do want to give a go, and I hope you guys are excited to give it a try as well. I've seen a couple other uh, playthroughs of Suda51 games, and I'm really excited because of just how off-the-wall some of his ideas, his art styles, all of those different things can be. And this game seems like a great culmination of all of those things. So, let's hop into it. Ah, welcome to my bedroom. Don't think that me letting you in here is an invitation for any funny stuff. I mean... Not that I have a problem with funny stuff. Especially not if you really like the person. But that isn't what I wanted to talk about. Today is, as they say in Spain, my cumpleaños. That's right, my birthday. I'm 18 today. These are my girls on the San Romero cheer squad. We've gone to the Nationals three years in a row. But we haven't won yet. Ugh. To keep my energy up, I eat lollipops. I know what you're thinking. I'm getting so fat, but they're so yum. This is my family. My older sister Cordelia won a gold medal in riflery last year. And she has a lot of secret meetings with guys I think are college scouts. My little sister Rosalyn just got her license, which makes me kind of think the DMV are idiots. My girlfriends say my dad is a total dilf. But try as they might, they could never come between him and my mom. She is so cool. It's because of her. My sisters and I all wear our vaginas, proudly. God, she and my dad love each other so much. Speaking of true love, this is my boyfriend, Nick. It eps me up how much I really like him. My family's throwing me a birthday party after school. Nick is totally freaked out having to meet my family for the first time. But I'm even more freaked out for him to find out about my family. Because even though they're the most amazing ever, some of our traditions are a little... unusual. Nick's already so sweet to never complain about my ginormous fat butt. If he finds out I'm the number one world's biggest weirdo, he might not stick around. I'd be so sad. I think I'd seriously cry forever. Oh no! I'm totally late! I was supposed to meet him before school! I'm so lame! Ugh. I hope Nick isn't mad. That's about the worst thing that could ever happen! What an incredible intro. <laughs> that was so funny. These, uh, these characters seem so ridiculous already. I, I love the... Just like the voice acting, the commentary, each family member has their own wacky, off-the-wall traits. The the relationship with the boyfriend, you know, what could possibly go wrong, right? She's talking about, you know, what if he hates her family and he's getting attacked by zombies and everything. So, this must be our main menu. We have the options available. Let's see. Vibration, camera up and down, blaster aim, subtitles. I'll turn subtitles on just because I don't want to have to be struggling with that in the middle of the cutscenes and all that. Juliet's room, that uh, looks like it's trophies and achievements. Difficulty, normal is fine for now. And I even love this art. Dang, I, I'm so glad I started this game. <laughs> so I hope you guys are excited. Let's hop in. Sounds like we're going to have some zombies to deal with. I should also mention this is a blind playthrough. Wait, is this a loading screen? Drop kick zombies to make them groggy. This is totally a loading screen. What a cool loading screen. <laughs> I'm already so blown away by this game, which is great. But I've never played this game before. If you have played it, if you are a fan of it, please try to keep it as spoiler-free an experience for me, uh, both with regards to referring directly to events that happen later on in the game or even setting up expectations for them. I, I very much appreciate it. But, okay. Is this something I'm supposed to be doing, or is this really just a loading screen, and I'm spoiled by modern generation loading screen times? I think it is just a loading screen. 
All right, well, if it's going to be a long loading screen, I can at least appreciate that it's a creative and entertaining one. Prologue, San Romero High School is the best. Juliet Starling, totally in love with. Oh, I didn't get to read it all. <laughs> you guys can pause at least. This is so irritating. That was awesome. She's just like casually has a chainsaw with her. Is ready to go. Okay. Let's see. Controls. We can move around the camera like so. A little bit jarring in terms of the motion, but that's fine. Can we jump? Nope. That's a probably a, like a light attack. <laughs> that's like a melee attack. Whoa. That's probably like a heavy attack. <laughs> and now what? Square. Jeez, it sucks when things explode. I hate when that happens. Push square for pom pom bashes and push chainsaw for chainsaw attacks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These chainsaw attacks are so satisfying. I wonder if there's like some degree of combo system. Dang, those pom pom attacks look like they'd, you know, fit in like a Street Fighter game. <laughs> and there, it seems there are like collectible coins as well. Interesting. So, they're like directionally based uh, attacks as well. Let's see, like neutral triangle. Oh, I got hit. I'm not a fan of that. I can't really seem to like combo the, the different types of attacks though. If I start a pom pom bash, I'll be continuing with one. But those chainsaw attacks, I mean, they definitely do some damage. What about X? I thought that did like chainsaw attacks too, but. Not sure what kind. You can see all the limbs coming off. That's hilarious. I guess I'm gonna have to go save somebody over there. Oh, I see. I was like, where my where's my health bar? Of course, it's in the top left. So you can see my my health bar is lollipops fitting, and all the decapitated heads rolling around. That's comical. Oh, you hate to see that. You alive? You okay? Nope. I guess not. Anything over this way? Hopefully I'm not timed. Those of you who have seen me play other games know that I like to explore areas quite a bit. I don't even know if there are collectibles in this or not. Yikes. Kill zombie will tell you how many zombies you have left to kill. Oh, I thought we were too late with all the blood that was shown. I thought uh, they'd already gotten to our SOS friend over here. <laughs> These attacks are so great. I mean, this is like totally my kind of genre. It's essentially like the American high school equivalent of Magical Girls meets Zombies. Awesome. I'm still alive. Gold zombie medals are the basic currency used to purchase items at Chop2Shop.Zom. <laughs> And so now we're just like a government agent rescuing people amidst this crisis. <laughs> of course, the slow mo matrix experience. Whoa, zombies suck dick at driving. <laughs> this game is so crude. Ooh, lollipop. Oh, so we use the D pad to refill health. Interesting. How does that work? 
Oh, so I can choose to use lollipops. Got it. Okay. Any items over this way? Doesn't seem so. Can I go in this door? Probably not. This seems more of like a just kind of plow your way through all the enemies sort of game already. Oh my. Your license should be revoked, bro. I'll rip out your teeth. What? <laughs> this isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. Push X for low slashes. Don't be looking at my skirt. Gotcha. So that's the, the purpose of that. Oh, so this is probably like a segment where... Oh! Hello. I did not see those guys coming. It's probably like that sort of action game trope where it's, you know, there's some sort of barrier that's imposed and you're stuck in an arena where you need to, um... Oh! These trash cans have coins? Ah, that's good to know. What is that sound outside? Hopefully there's not a zombie attack going on outside my apartment. But yeah, they're gonna be a variety of borders. Press circle to dodge enemy attacks. Mix it up with attacks to show off your skills. Oh, that is really flashy. Darn. So they really swarm you. I mean, that's the zombie classic, right? You know, our lollipop health bar is changing colors. Huh. I wonder how, like, strong the dodge attack is. And I wonder if there are, like, combos or anything like that that we get rewarded for. Like a Devil May Cry sort of system. That'd be pretty neat as well. Did we, did we rescue the classmate? I think we did. Okay, on to our next one. But yeah, it seems like there are going to be a variety of, you know, arenas that we're going to be fighting in. Can I hit these garbage cans? Nope, it was only the blue ones, I guess. Maybe those two were just an exception as well. Uh oh. Uh oh, we gotta save that person. So we gotta kill eight zombies. Don't be a perv and look up skirts. <laughs> of course, I mean that already totally fits with the theme of this game so far, right? So I'd imagine, you know, ideal sort of combat is a mix of, like, stunning with the pom-pom bashes when you're surrounded, and then buying yourself time to do the heavy damage with the chainsaw attacks. That's six. Where are the remaining ones? Over here. That one's stuck on the pole. <laughs> Probably not how that's supposed to work. Yeah, but I don't know if I can actually, like, kill, per se, with these pom-pom bashes. <laughs> you like end with that little dance pose. And that's the third person rescued. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that what you said? That's hilarious. We like rescue this person in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. My favorite president is Warren G. Harding who's admittedly a fairly boring president, if I recall anything from my U.S. history classes, too. So yeah, these triangle attacks are coming in really strong. I gotta figure out if there's some sort of, like, combo system, because it seems like once you start, like, a triangle series of attacks or a square series of attacks, that's kind of what you have to continue with. Alright, so we killed everyone real quick, or, I mean, all the zombies, not everyone. Alright. No hidden collectibles, it seems. Let's break down the gate and let everybody free. So of course, we gotta we gotta go save Nick, right? <laughs> That's the whole goal. Gonna have to hold off these zombies. There's a lollipop there, which is nice. Zombie star souls charge your meter. Press R2 to use, you might get lucky. What? What is this? Kill three more zombies in cool ways to get a sparkle hunt bonus. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is hilarious. How does that work? This is some sort of like combo mode, like all star kind of mode. It's so ludicrous. It's so outside, like out of this world. I love it. 
The art style is incredible. Alright, so that marks the end of it. We'll probably have to collect more of those souls. I think we collected that lollipop that was over there, too. There's still more. Dang. And they just keep driving in. Oh, quick time event. Feet is for suckers. Feet is for suckers? What? What is... How does that make sense? Groggy zombies are easy to decapitate. Use pom-pom batches, etc. to get a zombie groggy. Gotcha. So the idea is... Once a zombie is groggy, you can more effectively finish them off. That said, I mean, these these zombie uh, heavy attacks are really, or these chainsaw heavy attacks are putting in a lot of work. Only got one more zombie to kill after that? Yeah, I think so. Where are you at? There you are. So we'll do the pom-pom bashes here to get them groggy. Yeah, interesting. You can sort of change the attack by changing directions. Anything to get from this? Or this? Nope. Was it really just those few over there? Is this a... Oh, so there are some hidden collectibles. Chop to shop dot zom. It's hilarious in and of its own right. Looking forward to giving that a go. Seeing what like upgrades we can buy and whatever it might be. I'm sure the zombie will be happy to relay that message. Oh no! He crashed over by the school and is probably dead! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Just a second. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Juliet's phone? Mom, Juliet. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. That's hilarious. Wait, so what's the point of the phone calls? Is this this looks like a little intermissionary. Juliet's favorite store to shop at. Be careful, chop to shop locations are rare. Okay, so basically take advantage of them when you can. Interesting. I thought this was going to be like a like an individual mission level based game, not one continuous adventure. Health and upgrades, awesome skills, threads, MP3s, art collection. Oh, I love that you can buy those sorts of things too. Um, we have a good number of medals, I think. Lollipops and training gear, awesome skills, combos, and roulette techniques. That's exciting. Initially, I'm looking at health upgrades, though. Lollipop, uh, Platinum medals, the rarest medals. Exchange gold medals for platinum medals. Why do I need those, though? Magic beans. This is what I was looking for. Increasing health permanently. Let's do that. And then... I'm curious as well. Oh, we can only buy one at a time. <laughs> also, this music. <laughs> it's comical. I wonder if that heals us. Okay. It doesn't, you know, 100% heal our health back. What about awesome skills? Chainsaw stab. Two quick cheer attacks followed by a penetrating chainsaw thrust. Ooh, I like that. But we don't have enough medals for it. Aw, oh, man. A whirling dance of chainsaw death. Alright, well... In the meantime, I think we'll just stick with what we have for now. I have two lollipops. So, I'd rather save up for those other combos. We gotta just break down the door. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Nope, nothing in there, I don't think. Oh, here they come. Darn it. Alright, I gotta get better at anticipating the dodges. It almost reminds me of, um, like, Arkham Asylum without having the, the counter notification, right? You're just, like, watching the enemies, waiting for them to attack you, and then right beforehand, get that nice counter hit in. A counter attack would be really cool. And I gotta remember to keep an eye on the gauge for, uh, healing. Ooh, what is a golden lollipop? Oh, that's probably a hidden collectible that I missed. 
No! I missed a golden lollipop probably from the very first level. That makes me sad inside. Because that was golden lollipop number two. Oh well. Check out how to cook zombie in the pause menu by pressing start to see awesome tips. Okay, anything on my left over here? There is. Alright, starting to get a feel for how the collectibles are working in this game. I wonder if there's an ability to revisit certain parts of the game. That would be pretty cool. On my left, nothing. On my right, though, 26? Circle square to jump in the air and do a drop kick. Oh, so that's the, uh, the drop kick. Gotcha. It seems like it's really only, like, targeted at, you know, like, single zombies, though. So in a situation like this, I'm not confident the dropkick is super... What? <laughs> this is not the most helpful uh, thing. I'm just gonna mow down a bunch of these guys. The, uh, what's it called? That special attack, whatever the star sparkling or whatever it is, would be really helpful right about now. Also, I'm kind of low on health. If I take another hit, I'll probably um, use one of my lollipops. Sparkle hunting zombies. Cool. Oh, is that something that just happens regardless of whether or not you're in that, like, magical mode? There's one on the ground there I'm curious about. Quick time event? Oh, are we just getting, like, mauled? That's not good. Oh, we're, we're pretty low. A little uncomfortably low. Okay, and here's the next thing I was worried about, is would we have to heal in real time? And the answer is, no, we don't. So how much does the lollipop heal? Okay, so it's about half of our HP, which is good to know. And we have maximum meter, but we only have like four more zombies left to kill here, right? So I think it'd be a bit of a waste to use it all here. Okay. I think that's all of the zombies. We have some garbage cans over here. Nice. So it is these garbage cans that give us a bunch of the gold medals. What about the dumpsters? No. Okay. So garbage cans. We can go through here. Nice little slide through. Ooh, a lollipop on our right. The police are holding them off. <laughs> the things these zombies say. Ridiculous. We're getting a call. Push L1 to lock onto a target. Use R to switch targets. That's pretty neat. How do I answer a phone call? No, I used the wrong button. Darn. That's, uh, that's my bad. Can I stop it? I don't think I can. What are these guys? They have gas masks and stuff? Uh-oh. And looks like an explosive barrel. Oh, and my my whole sparkle bar or whatever is gone. They have health bars, so I'll need to be more cognizant of uh, fighting them. Oh, interesting. And so there was that red flash. We're taking plenty of damage. I wanted to go over this way. Hmm. All right. So this one's gonna require a little bit more thought. We got a lollipop, which is nice. I don't know how to actually answer phone calls. So let me see here how to cook zombie. Main characters, Master Zombie Hunter Guide. Oh my, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Main characters. <laughs> this is something I'll have to take a look at. But yeah, I'll uh, maybe in between episodes or something, I'll look up how to answer phone calls. Because they said it was important to do so, but I don't think they indicated how to actually do so. That guy doesn't have his uh, barrel thing right now, so that's fine. Oh, I should, that's right, I was gonna heal. Interesting. So these enemies, unlike a bunch of the others, aren't getting stunned as easily. So they'll attack me even if I hit them. So I need to be wary for when they're about to attack and make sure I'm out of the way. What was that? Platinum zombies are the most valuable sparkle hunt and kill named zombies to get. Oh, I see. Okay, where's our last friend? Over this way? Oh, and he's got that thing. Jerry. <laughs> um, 
Hmm. Oh, I can I can lock on, right? That's pretty nice. So while he's doing that, we can attack him from behind. Aw, oh, dang. I wanted to jump over, but didn't quite get that done in time, obviously. So what I can do is I can probably try to do some pom-pom bashes from behind and stun him, and then utilize that stunning to do some damage. Seems to be fairly ineffective at the moment, though. <laughs> Nice. Collected Jerry number three. What? Nuclear testes in my pants. What? What does that mean? Oh man, this game. Alright, so we can break this down. Oh, do we find Nick? Nick? There's a present? Nick, are you here? It's okay to come out. Nick? Oh please. <laughs> nice. I'm so hungry. No. Shit. Are you okay, Juliet? Yes, I are you? I, uh, I, uh, one bit me. Just a little bit. I, I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Huh. Oh, no. It can't be. I feel it in me. I'm gonna become one, huh? <laughs> I, fuck. I'm screwing up your birthday, aren't I? I'm sorry, Juliet. I, I don't want to fuck up your birthday. My birthday? Don't worry about that. That's the dumbest thing ever. Uh, 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 listen, uh, I know it's stupid. We just started getting serious, but uh, I wanted you to know. I know I've never said it or anything, but I, I, I kind of sort of, you know, love you. Uh, oh, I fucking love you. Oh. <laughs> no. There's It's the only chance we have uh, to save you. Julia? What the fuck? I love you too, baby. What? <laughs> that was so hilarious. Building up the romance and then the the theme. <laughs> that was so funny. Zombie Metals 276. Wow. So we uh, did not do excellently. I guess it wasn't horrible, but I'd definitely be revisiting that. Also, it, okay, this does kind of indicate that it is a sort of mission-based game. We get ranked based on the zombie medals, the platinum medal medals, sparkle hunting, and the completion time. So clearly, I've got to work on my combat skills, because it didn't go as well as I would have liked, but not too bad. Not too bad. You can now choose prologue and ranking mode. In ranking mode, you can compete against zombie hunters from around the world by clearing stages following strict rules. Try it out. Interesting. So that was the parking lot? Or... Or what? I think that's where we just were, and now we're at the high school, so that's going to be the next level. What about mode? Welcome to ranking mode. If story mode is set to easy, you will face these challenges on normal. Okay, yeah. So we were just at the, the parking area. Now, what's, um, oops, we almost switch modes. What's at Juliet's house? Juliet's room, costumes, and leaderboards. Man, I love the aesthetic of this game. But I think we'll, we'll end up going through the high school and seeing whatever that mission entails. Whatever happened to Nick, it looks like we chainsawed him at the neck. And if the cover of this game is anything to indicate, I feel like we might be taking that head around. <laughs> with us for the rest of the game, which would, again, be quite comical, but on point for this game thus far. I hope you guys have enjoyed this 
playthrough so far, that first chapter, the prologue, the intro, everything about this game has been such a blast to see, and I'm really looking forward to the next chapter in, in the high school. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.